Okay, here is something that you definitely do not want to do. So this is the skimmer for the pool. It looks a little different than, uh, than your skimmer probably. This is an older concrete pool. Um, but what you're looking at down there is a couple of uh, concrete or a couple of chlorine pipes. Now the problem is, is that when the pump is running, it draws water from the skimmer, which is the port directly below this. So those ports there draw water right back to the, the pump. So what you're effectively doing is drawing heavily chlorinated water directly into your pump. So that's, uh, then the pump sends it through the filter and then the filter sends it through the heater and all three components will experience an early failure, especially the heater. Uh, anything metal is going to corrode very quickly as a result of this. That's why you shouldn't keep uh, chlorine pucks in the, the pump strainer basket either, but it's just as bad to have them here in the skimmer. If you really want to have something like this going on, first of all, use an erosion feeder. Uh, second of all, you could use a floater in the pool, although floaters are kind of made for small bodies of water, not really something large. Um, in this case, though, there's, there's just no reason to have this. There's already an erosion feeder on this pool, so that's where you should put the, the chlorine pucks and you should never put them inside of a skimmer basket because you're definitely going to reduce the, the, the lifetime uh, of your equipment, specifically your heater.